Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce, and I'm here with a new friend, Sarah, who I'm going to show you guys her channel and her website in a minute, but Sarah is super cool. Uh, we've been just chit-chatting, as I tend to do with when I record. I always have social hour before. <laughs> I'm always like, oh yeah, we gotta actually hit the record button. Um, so Sarah is up in Canada and she is doing the shadow work challenge and she's also a very talented tea leaf reader, which I'm super excited, uh -huh. and a psychic medium. I'm super excited about, but before we get into the subject matter at hand, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. We have Sarah's website here. I will put all of this stuff down in the description box below. Um, we have Sarah's website here that offer all of her services. And we she also has a uh, um, a YouTube channel. I was about to say a shadow work challenge channel, but <laughs> a YouTube channel. It kind of is. <laughs> kind of is. is. I mean, most spirituality really is. I mean, you don't get into the light and love until you get to the end mm. of the work, right? So um, mm, you have to dive deep all the time. Work never ends. You do it daily never ends if you have a body you still got work to do so guys i actually went and watched some of uh sarah's videos because i'm so fascinated as you guys know i'm super fascinated by divination um i am very familiar with tarot and the I Ching. um i love astrology and but i i have heard i've tea leaf reading of course before but i've never had it done but i've been watching your videos it's super fascinating and so guys please go ahead and subscribe to sarah's youtube channel again down in the description box below and again her website is there which you also have a, a click to her website here if you want to look at her services i looked at some of your services and you've got you you're very reasonably priced sarah for your services like i was shocked i mean wow yeah. We moved, like I said, we moved up here to a different location in Ontario a couple of years ago. So I made my prices a little bit more reduced to be a bit more accessible to people. So that's that's why. That's amazing. It's, you know, it's always an exchange of energy. Um, as a yoga teacher, I know yeah. that as well. But and I, I, I told this, we, I said this to Stephanie too, like, you know, I know for us in yoga, we're always willing to work with people if, if um, you know, mm -hmm. they're struggling because we want to help. And so, um, and mm -hmm. so, and I will say, I got to talk to Sarah's mom beforehand, coolest lady ever. So, <laughs> mom Heather, <laughs> yeah, mom Heather, you, you Canadians, you got you got some some diamonds up there. I was saying, <laughs> I feel I feel sorry for Canadians because you guys are really getting hit hard. Mm -hmm. And um, us Americans, mm -hmm. we understand and we support you. We're all the patriots. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the coolest thing about this time, though, Sarah. I keep saying this. Mm -hmm. You know, the globalists, they had one idea as to what they yeah. wanted to do, connecting us as a one world government, whereas we've kind of all connected ourselves, but we stand, we stand proud of our own countries, but also proud of each other's countries, too. It makes me emotional Absolutely. when I think about it. You know, Americans are supporting Canadians. Canadians are supporting Americans. The Australians are supporting the French. The French are supporting the Australians. We're Absolutely. all, you know, you're not your government. You are not no. your you're not, none of us are our governments. That's the problem, right? We realize it's never been about the citizens. Never. The, in no. my experience, tra traveling the world, I've been lucky to be able to travel the world is human beings are human beings. Most people are yeah. very lovely and they they welcome you into their home with open arms. And they, and the it's the government. It's the fucking government. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just because someone is in the office doesn't mean that the people actually necessarily you know cast a little yeah. sticky piece of paper for that individual in my experience we certainly did not happen that did not happen with the current individual okay. who shall okay. be you know what I mean yeah the, the turd we'll call him the turd of Canada the turd they yeah. can call him that I call him that it's fine yeah Castro's son yeah well the same <laughs> with Mr. B I mean Mr. B obviously I think that was the biggest shock for the whole world I mean I had people call messaging me from all over the world going what the hell happened and i'm like i don't know because if you were here in the united states you you still see you drive around the united states you still see mr t flags everywhere i mean it, it was i mean the opposite mr t actually won in a landslide absolutely i i mean for those of us who are waking aware i think at least i can speak for myself and the people that i know up here in canada <laughs> we just shook our head we're like seriously okay like again for those of us who are making aware we saw what was happening there's a greater plan in place there's something happening behind the scenes obviously but you just shake your head i mean i don't know what else to say it's just and i my thing I've, I've been very curious too because i know most americans and i have to say i said this right when it happened i think i put it on my instagram or something but 
during the counting of, we'll just say of the competition, um, cause we can't, cause that's how monitored we are because they don't want the truth out. Um, exactly. during the competition, the major competition of, of that, uh, event. Event. Yes, <laughs> the, the event. Um, they just have to talk yeah. to Dode. <laughs> right. There are members from each team that count. And some of the members from the blue team, the Ds, mm -hmm. actually would get on their iPhones and were saying, you guys, they were saying, like, they're cheating. My team is cheating. And I have so much respect for the people on the blue team that had the guts to say this isn't right. Because I think most people realize on a visceral level that if they'll do it with you, they'll do it to you. That regardless of what, what athlete right. is in the race, um, bless someone's heart if they're new to my channel. They're like, what the hell are these two? <laughs> and it's like, I'm just going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm getting everything that you're saying, all the coded words. I get it. I'm like, viewers get it. <laughs> the road race, the athletes, um, you know, to realize that, that there's something very dirty and underhanded happening and to, mm -hmm. to call it out anyway, even though your team isn't gonna, you know, is the one it, it, it took, it took a lot of guts. And so for the people on the blue team that actually were saying something, um, I have total respect for you for speaking up because that took um, a lot of guts. They um, obviously went in and I didn't know what was going on. Then when we, then when they did, they obviously were trying to course correct and say like, they're calling it out. So yeah. obviously they're being eth highly ethical. I mean, I can't say that for here because I didn't know any sto stories specifically, but we had two recent elections in the past couple of years up here. The first one, um, that's when the whole, I get to say this online for the first time. This was yeah. in place. I, yeah. anyways, I refused to vote. Um, my mom had gone in and long story short, there was a moderator or someone at, the, uh, at that counting event and they offered to escort me in and, um, and I declined. I said I could have gone in and and cast my little piece of paper digitally in, but I chose not to because I didn't want to bow down to the system and say, why do I need a special escort literally to go in there just to have something that is my right as a Canadian citizen? And the second time I did go in, they did not make anyone wear this, although pretty much everyone there was wearing that who were yeah. doing the counting. But it was still a digital um, box that was being used. And I asked the, the lady who was doing it, she'd been staring at literally at the brand all day. I said, oh, so uh, are you doing this by hand? Oh, no, by this. And so I said, oh, like, well, what, what's the name of the, the system that you're using? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, you've literally been staring at it all day. I saw it as I walked by. She didn't know the name of that shows you just how out of it some people they just they completely become complacent in life and they just don't I kid you not. Y'all <laughs> And by the way, the we're on the, where we live is not exactly, you know, that shape. Yeah kind of yeah. you know, like that yeah. <laughs> yeah. sort of yes yes anyway <laughs> it'll be interesting to see like how everything plays itself out because and that's why you know they say like in the law of one they say that what we're going i've said this before on my channel like what we're whenever an, a planet is about to upgrade to a new a new density so third mm -hmm. we're in third density the planet has to either go fourth density positive or fourth it is upgrading it's just which way it's going to go now because now it splits mm -hmm. Um, right. traditionally, according to the law of one life force cannot be on the planet when it goes through that metamorphosis, right. all animals, plants, humans have to get, or humanoids have to get off of it. Right. This is the one time that life force is going to stay living on the planet as the planet goes through its, its metamorphosis or the shedding of its skin. And mm -hmm. so all of these off-worlder friends aliens whatever you want to call them other humanoids in the and the and the cosmos okay. are literally friends <laughs> they're literally tailgating right now because they're so curious to see what the fuck's gonna happen they're like sitting I, there. they're yeah. the ones eating their popcorn we're not the ones that are eating the popcorn they're the ones that are just sitting back saying how the hell is this gonna happen like reality I, series earth season 12 you know the biggest telenovela there was you know like Mom Heather, she said like two years ago, she goes, I've had, I've had enough of my popcorn and moved on to cake. Like, but I, I will say digressing a little bit, but we do see some <clears throat> patrols. Oh yeah. Up there. I've, we've seen, I've, we've 
Yeah. Yeah. They're getting thin, uh, the the veil is getting around. thinner. The veil is getting thinner too. So we're seeing, we're seeing more. I think that's why people are also seeing more people shape shifting on camera. It's not that they weren't shape shifting before. It's just now you're able to see it because the veil is thinning and you're ascending. And so um, you're able to see people truthers who are shape shifting on camera that are not actually in our community they're infiltrators you're this is a war like this is a big time this is the biggest war of our We've lives spoken off camera a little bit like you said and you know more about the story but it's a full-on war i will say a story i'm happy to share it this was back in 2020 in the throes of everything right after i had started waking up around march or so of that year my mom and i did together and there was one night she actually woke up because she heard my headboard and i i have a fairly sizable sturdy headboards wood and she woke up and it was just going <laughs> against the wall and I was like she looked over and I was sound asleep and then she actually said like we've had paranormal more paranormal stuff our, our whole lives and she goes okay whoever you are get away and leave her alone and it, she said it laughed and she's like did you hear that and I said no so the next day I actually tried moving the headboard you can't do that there's no like, way that usually when a headboard be. beats against the wall like that, it's a good time. But that did not sound like a good that time. Was not, that. that was a demonic thing that was going on. I woke up so many times that year, uh, just scratches and yeah, yeah. Sarah and I do have that in common. We were chit chatting. We both are like, we're like, we're like, we're like, they're like moths to the flame. <laughs> they, they can see us, and they're like. I used to down here in the south like everything's haunted down here in the south like everything and there's so many ghost tours you can do like in all the old neighborhoods I've done so many of it and every time I go and they have those like little meters they oh, always yeah. Go, oh yeah you have them they, they follow you I'm like yeah I know <laughs> you're like it's no big news what's they, it now is it a 24 <laughs> they haven't followed me since I was a kid like now nah, I mean I know I know for some reason they want to like either go or yeah, they, they just want to talk to me. And I'm like, listen, when I was a kid, I was too interested in what the boy down the street was doing, the living boy, to be caring about the dead person behind me. But, you know, it's just, oh. but we're learning more about that, aren't we? We're learning more about vibration, about, um, we were talking off camera about this third density body a lot of us are in. We're coming from the fifth and sixth density. We, we volunteered, literally. Yeah. Because we're in yeah. the light, we picked this. We had already ascended and picked the service to self, our service to others path, which is the path of light according to the law of one. And we volunteered to come, which is a very selfless act. Um, and I'm talking to a lot of our viewers right now too. You volunteered. Okay. All those people that don't feel like Earth is home, or they always felt a little weird. It's probably because you actually did a very heroic thing, and you volunteered. And and all the people on the Earth right now are high priority souls um you were put here for a reason because your your vibration was was strong enough and you're in it but you're in a heavy body and you went through amnesia and there was a risk to do that because you could have gotten caught back in the karmic loop because you forgot everything but you know 100%. That's your one. That's why they target a lot of us is because I was telling Sarah, it's like you learn like they know things about you that you don't know about you. And how fair is that? Like, I'm like, that's no. not fair. Like, no, like that's why that's what we're saying. I'm like, I literally have felt like I've been in amnesia most of my life. And someone I'll have gone to a reader and they say, Well, don't you know that? Or I'll hear someone say something like, Oh my goodness, like I, I, I just feel like I've had again amnesia my whole life. I'm like, I don't, why don't I remember these things? And then you start realizing about all the, the things that have been going on. And like you said, they start targeting you and explains the scratches on the back and everything. Now I didn't, I can tell you one story about 2018, but all I will say is, yeah, I, I almost exited the earth plane. Yeah. Oh girl, yeah. It's real. This it's real. Is real. It's, it's real. real for like no reason. And I'm like, what is going on? And then now knowing what we know, I'm like, <gasps> They mess with your thoughts. Guys, you didn't win. You're not going to win. You're, you're done and you know it. No, they're not going to win. And that's what makes, that's what you're infuriates done. them. That's what infuriates them. I mean, I actually know who's targeting me now. I kind of laugh about it now because I actually have I've like, the contract that they took out. Like they have to like, that's the thing I learned too. Like they have to take contracts out if someone's out of their district. They That's the way that the controllers work in their little secret Jeez. club is that they have like, they have to take contracts out if you're out of their district for them to target you. And like, I'm like, it is so complicated. <laughs> to be I, wonder a <laughs> I wonder how many contracts I've had. <laughs> I'm like, this is really exhausting. I'm like, it is really complicated to be a bad guy. How many guy. have you had? It's like, oh, I've had this many. How many have you? 
I mean, I'm dumbfounded. I'm like legit. Like I'm like, I'm, you know, it's like, this is fucking batshit crazy. I'm like, this is crazy. I'm like, this is, I mean, why? What? I'm like, you're not, I mean, literally, if your God is Lucifer or the God of darkness, whatever, Yeldabaoth, uh-huh. whatever you want to call him, you know that guy is not, there's no loyalty among thieves. Like they no. all turn on each other. I know yep. one arrest that has happened recently. I'm not going to say a whole lot, but it's one arrest of a, of a truther that happened recently. And he squealed big time. Oh, and, that's and now, he's got, now he's got a monitor on his ankle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's back on his show being himself but i'm like Tee-hee-hee. like he totally tattletailed i'm like that is what's so funny to me because i'm like i we're loyal like good people in the light are loyal and we'll we don't hide shit like we're not i'm not out there taking contracts out on people if people want my help i'll help them like we don't have that boundary if you can help as my friend emmy says energy is not energy is not it, it, it's beyond space and time and i know with Ray, i know you're an usui reiki master i saw that on your your you can help you can do reiki on someone who's on the other side of the world because energy is not confined yeah. and so in the light now now sarah yeah. If somebody wants your help in India, you don't have to sign contracts with different districts of India to be able to help them, do you? I'll pick up the phone or we'll arrange this a reading or whatever. I, I don't need a contract. I mean, that's what's so crazy. Kind of kind of and I will read for them. Like, I don't. It's, it just seems very complicated and frankly, very exhausting to be. It's very extra to be in the dark. I'm like, the light's just so much easier. Like, so much so- easier. I mean, I've read for a few people at different places on the, on our, on our, on our realm. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's no, there's no, you don't have to take out territories or anything like that. You just, you're just serving others. You're just serving others. Absolutely. Yeah. We're all sisters. Yeah, we're we, all. We truly are. We truly are. And people have asked me before, sometimes in the past. Well, how can you read for me if we're not in front of each other? Or how can you do a Reiki session or an energy healing with me if I'm not in the same room? And I, and I say it's akin to them. I, to them, I say it's akin to picking up a phone. I said you don't need to be in front of someone face to face in order to have a conversation. And they go, well, no. I said you can pick up a phone or you can do Zoom. You can do some form of a video call. You don't. And you can have a conversation. They say, yes. I said, well, it's, it's exactly the same. Energy doesn't end. It just changes form as we know. Like when I first started getting my Reiki training, this was years ago, um, my teachers at the time were saying, well, said to our st- us students in the class, look at the books. We're like, okay, like what is in the book? We said, well, paper, ink, book binding. Well, what else is in there? Trees, sunlight, water, earth, grass, all the animals that were walking on the tree. It, it it just changed form. The tree is still perfectly a tree. And if you hear background noises, it is not a demonic attack. It's my 21 month, now 21 month old puppy named Brie. And I'm on the phone, I'm on, we're on Zoom and she gets possessive of me being, of us being on any form of communication. So if you hear, oh, that's Brie saying hi. She, she hears the phone. Boy. We call Ravi the, the, the sheriff because if, if, and I live in the dim middle of a city and if someone dares walk by our window, it is like, whoa, 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 like he just goes crazy. Oh, but yes. Yeah. They're, they're beautiful. Same Animals here. are beautiful. And 20 months. Oh man. Their puppies are hard. Puppies they're are hard. They're hard. She's a chocolate lab. We didn't know what labs are like. Oh, playful. Know, but they're so playful. They're so they're playful. I was telling you by soft camera, like I've, layered my foundation on because I was outside in this I know it sounds so stereotypical Canadian but if I show you outside you're like oh well yeah you're in Canada it's, we're in a winter weather advisory there's snow falling there's a bit of a breeze my face was all like been burned I'm like okay like sorry but I'm just gonna like throw this thing on so hopefully it doesn't look yeah. right <laughs> you look beautiful you look beautiful listen I, you're lucky I have pants on that's the one thing about YouTube is that no one knows what your bottom half looks like some days oh. I might not even have pants on so <laughs> doesn't matter it's all good <laughs> um whatever so um actually there was this funny with prime minister who's one of my friends he was doing a oh show live once and someone's at the door and he had to like block the camera when he got up he's like sorry guys i didn't have my pants on <laughs> i was like feel you i feel you man um it's nice you don't doesn't matter what you're wearing down there upper side Fine. well that being said i just adore you sarah can you give what what kind of background do you want to give the viewers our friends i hate i hate saying like subscribers viewers that feels so non-personal our friends watching our friends watching our friends 
You're, I mean, I was like, I'm so fascinated. Like, how did you discover tea? I know you told me a little bit in the email, but I'm going to let you, how did you discover mm -hmm. that? First of all, tea, tea leaf reading and that you could do it. Yeah, I'm, it's, it's quite an interesting story. Basically, as I said to you in my email, I'm God taught, essentially, I didn't take any courses, I started getting into angel oracle cards around 2004, I did that for a few years. Within that space of time, I took some courses, but energy work and aura chakras kundalini crystal healing got into reiki eventually finished got to reiki master teacher level just mainly for myself not doing it for other people although i absolutely can and have and, and, and able to um but tv reading is not something that was ever on my radar i got into doing it it was 2010 canada day weekend so it was like july 3rd i think and it was a bit of a story but the week a couple weeks prior to that I had met a lady who had a, a store at the time, actually where we are living now, and she popped her head out the window. We were ready, my mom, and, my mom and I were getting into our car, and she goes, do you still do card readings? Because she knew that I did. I did. Next week, did it. And then she said, oh, well, everyone really enjoyed their readings. Uh, can you read tea leaves? And I, oops, sorry, my dog was walking around. Sorry for the shaking him. And I, in my naive innocence, I like I literally say this story. In my naive innocence, I literally said, oh, uh, I don't know. I guess so. Maybe. Sure. Okay. That was like literally my answer. Like I have no, I, I had no idea. I didn't really know, know, know that TV reading was really a thing. And I have been I got up, in that, up until that point about six years of just practicing with card readings working with my psychic ability it's like a muscle the more that you use it, the stronger it gets and then the following weekend was july first weekend and i ended up doing tv readings for the major majority of the day at her store and i and i had a week to prepare so a friend of mine a friend of my mom's at the time actually her mother-in-law sally had passed away but she actually gave me this book I don't know if you can still get it. I think it's pretty much out of print now. This one was printed in 1946. I think there's different copies and versions of this one. But essentially, this is my only frame of reference. Um, a friend of mine at the time had a friend out in Alberta, and they got in touch. And she was a Reiki lady, too. And anyway, so she said, you're familiar with angel cards and tarot cards. I said, I'm familiar with it. I don't really do tarot at that point in time. I'm very much a novice. And she said, well, just think of tea leaf reading as tarot cards or angel cards in a cup. And that made sense to me. Because it's very, they are very similar, they're extremely similar, they're just different. So rather than having a set uh, deck of cards that you know what is in the deck, you don't know exactly what's going to come out in the cup every time. It's going to be totally different for everyone every single time. So I had a week to prepare. I had that word of advice, watch a couple YouTube videos. I had my book that I read from front to back. I don't describe everything in here, but most of it, I base it on this. And I've been doing it ever since, basically. That's so I think that's, that's a God wink, right? Like all those things, kind of the, the synchronicities kind of lined up for you. And you had already had so much mm -hmm. study yourself. You had the foundation of spirituality. So you wonder, it wasn't like you were just walking down the street and all of a sudden one day no. you already no. had. So it's like God works that way where God will unfold. You know, I always tell people start on your journey because usually where you're starting is not where you're going to end up, but there has to be a starting Absolutely. point. There has to be a foundation. Now I'm going to tell you something, Sarah, this is so funny because being from the South, when I think of tea, I think of iced tea, of sweet tea. And I remember when I was a little kid, we talked about this, about um, case studies of like word memory. And we, uh, the, I was in the fifth grade. It was Miss Eberhardt's class in fifth grade. And somebody came in the class and said, when I say skiing, what comes to your mind? And every kid in the class mm -hmm. said, water skiing, right? water skiing. But if I said skiing to you, Sarah, what comes to mind? As a Winter, Canadian, going those, down the hill, something yeah. that I've never done. I have no interest in doing, thank you. But <laughs> knee injuries prevent a lot of stuff from happening. But no, not, not interested in skiing, nothing wrong with it. But that's, no. Yeah, but you would think of snow skiing because of how you grew up. Like we grew up on a lake and on water it was like hot. We don't, it doesn't snow here in the South, you know, so... So when I think of tea, I think of like iced tea, sweet iced right. tea. Like um, we don't, not many people in the South drink hot tea. I never ha had hot tea before until I went, until I was in college. Um, and I was in college in the UK. So they're the kind of the master of tea. So I never had oh, hot tea before oh, then. Absolutely. You know, it was always like my grandmother always had a jug of sweet tea. And she was from South Georgia. So she put pineapple juice in her sweet tea. It was a big ice cold, you know, big ice. And that was... Um, so when you are, so you're using like hot tea, right? Because it's in a tea. Using hot tea. Yeah. I'm using hot tea. So do you, when you are setting it up, 
do you drink the tea and see what happens with the leaves? And while you're drinking it, do you have that intention of who you're reading for or what you're reading? Like, how does that work? Yeah, great question. It's something that a lot of people have asked me and if I've ever done a tea leaf reading. So if I was sitting down with a client and they asked me that question, or if I was in a group setting doing a group tea leaf reading, which I've done many times as well over like a long time, they asked me the same question. I've always said, let me just show you because usually when I explain it, it sounds so complicated, even though it's really not because there's all these little steps to it. And again, I just want to say like everyone reads completely differently. TV reading is still a reading. I always work, I work with the boss, yeah. everything names you want to use. So it's whatever needs to come through in the leaves comes through in the leaves, but it's still a reading and needs to be treated with that level of respect. And this, I, is old. this is an ancient form of divination. This is like old as old as I'm seeing. Yeah, it, it's old. I mean, from my research, I mean, it originated in the East. When we know history and the timing, we've been lied to a lot about yeah. all of that, Tatari, all of that. However, it migrated through Europe, I think in the mid 1600s or 1500s, it, as the trade opened up and then tea sort of worked its way through Europe and then ended up sort of in the UK. So it traveled. But tea leaf reading is also called tassiography. Tassiomancy or tassiology, and it comes from the French root word tasse, which is cup. So it's kind of interesting too yeah. that it's called tea leaf reading because it's literally translates to like cup. cup reading, looking at cups, cup divination. It's along those lines. So even though it's tea, it's, I mean, it's actually really a cup, like you're looking at a cup. So you could be using, uh, in the past, apparently they use like molten lead and you can use candle wax and cold water you can use different things but i i use tea and tea leaf reading is it, it's a good 500 odd years old if not older based on again the timing that we've been taught is not true but it's been around for a very long time um so the process of reading it it really depends on i again i read the way that i read everyone reads differently just like any other form of reading so the way that i do it is just unique to myself and I just, I just sort of go with it and say, okay, God, what do, what do you want me to do now? <laughs> but I have my process. I'm happy to explain it to you if you like. I'm yeah, happy to well, do what that we were going to do, you guys, is she was going to do a general reading on me so you guys can see. I told her, like, we're pre-recording, so if any of my scandalous secrets come out, I'll just cut it out. <laughs> but I'm pretty much an open book, so I don't, I don't, I've had people read for me on shows before, so I don't mind. Just so you guys can see using me as kind of, for the people watching right now who've never had this done, they can see me as your guinea pig. You can see what to expect if you were to go to Sarah for a reading. Um, and also, uh, and I will say too, just to put this out there, I've talked to Emmy. A lot of people have talked about this. Now, even though we're doing my reading on a show, when a, when a person comes to a divinator, everything that happens in that session stays very private, doesn't it, Sarah? It's confidential. Yeah. I, I never repeat anything to anyone else. I may, I may generally refer to a client at some later point in time that, X, Y, Z happen. However, for the most part, I'm not even going to remember it. Yeah. And nor it's not even for, it's not for me. It's for the client. It's nothing to do with me. I'm just literally just, re I'm, I'm a conduit. I'm literally relaying information. That's all. Yeah. So I wanted That's to make that clear with people, especially, you know, anytime you're working with somebody who works in the light, they're going to be very sensitive around um, the confidentiality of what's being spoken about. I know that therapists are the good therapists are that way too. Um, so I wanted to make that clear to people as well. And I, I'm, I'm so fat. I mean, I am so freaking fascinated by this Sarah. So, um, so do you want to, I mean, do you want to start and use me and show how people, like, I don't know. What do you want to do? Sure. You're the professional. Okay, so. Let me boil the water again. So you, okay. I don't know if you cut this part out, but you're going to hear some boiling water in the background. That's okay. That's okay. I will say while you're doing that, there is a great tarot card reader on YouTube called Maji and she's, she's copyrighted this saying. So I'm going to give her credit, but it's a great saying. She goes, if God hired me, who going to fire me? I love it. <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. So, it, it, that's awesome. Yeah. I, I never plan on doing TV. Food. It was like the last thing completely off my radar and it literally just happened. And I've been doing it ever since really. And I've learned as I've gone along, as I said I, I, to you before, I've, I'm pretty much God taught other than this one book that I read full credit to whomever the author is. I don't know, but it sounds like they were Scottish at the time. I actually was told by a psychic a few years ago, just in passing, I, I love her and I completely trust her. She's like, you were that author and you wrote that book and now you're back to expand it. I'm like, that makes sense. Because like, when I read it, it actually, so, is, you can hear, I have four planets in Sagittarius, okay? I have two planets in Leo, ethical high horse. Yeah, I know. But when you read it, I'm like, that sounds exactly what I'm saying, just in a 
kind of archaic language. I'm saying the same thing. Um, but it's it's so true. Like I literally just re relay whatever I see. It's healing feeding the way best way that I can describe it is it, it describes events and situations which are likely to occur. It describes the event qualities and characteristics of events and situations which are likely to occur at this moment in time. Time can change, events and situations can change, but as of this moment in time, this the is what's being presented. Take it for what you will and leave what you don't. Yeah, and I will say it's so funny. You were, we're talking about Scottish and the Celtic heritage and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, um, that is the Magdalene. That's the Magdalene. Yeah. Like, like, uh, yeah. um, what I've learned from, and you're not going to, guys, so if you're new to my channel, you're not going to find this in history books. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Those are like fantasy books. <laughs> those are fairy tales. Fair fiction. <laughs> but uh, her mother, Magdalene's mother, was Kentuckian. I'm not saying Kentucky. People get confused. Kentuckian. She was from a planet called Kenteka. Not she herself, but her line was from, she was from Earth, but her line. And I think it was the Cass Cassiopeians that really spoke about this. Um, we'll say because of the algorithms of you of, of YouTube, but the country that starts with a U, the unicorn country by the Black Sea, the capital of that unicorn country, there's a huge portal. And that's part of what they were fighting for. Right. And um, the Kentuckians came through that portal. And they were brought yeah, to, you're fine. They were brought to planet Earth uh, by the reptilians, the Draco, because their planet had been destroyed by the reptilians and the Draco. And so a lot of these, like, these divination things and this, this Celtic uh, heritage comes from that planet, the Druid, the good part of the Druid yeah. culture comes oh, from that. I mean, they were probably river dancing up a storm of, up in Kentucky before they had to, so the blonde hair, the blue eyes, the red hair, the green eyes, the stuff you think about, like basically what Sarah and I look like, yeah. um, that's the genetic makeup of a Kentuckian. And so that's why when you see the, the original pictures of Magdalene, she had reddish blonde hair, which makes sense. Yeshua was black. But Magdalene was, which is the Syrian, from my understanding, the Syrian, Syrian constellation. But Magdalene was, her mother was, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure where her father's, I know, I know who her father was, but I'm not sure what his galactic lineage was. But her mother was Kentuckian. And that's where a lot of these really kind of good kind of witchy stuff come. Like I find like it's the good kind of like very ritualistic, it comes from that. And they were a positive oriented planet. So absolutely yeah. and, and it's very interesting interesting too that you said about positive oriented because that's something that i've often found in readings generally but with tea leaf reading too some people are afraid of it but people approach tea leaf reading i found a little bit more openly because it's kind of cute oh yes. it's tea leaf reading oh isn't that cute it's a nice tea leaf reading oh it's a uh, quote it, it's our entertainment for the afternoon which is completely fine but don't just respect the process. It's powerful. It's, a it's very powerful. It's someone's life. It, and this is what we're, I was saying too. It, the tea leaf reading is tea leaf reading. Psychic mediums readings are psychic medium readings, but they're still readings. Tarot cards are, are tarot. They're still tarot. They're still, yes, we can talk about tea leaf reading and I'm happy to do it. But the other half is all of the ethics and all of the boundaries that come with tea leaf reading. And yes, I started doing angel cards, or oracle cards five, six or so years before I started doing this three or four years before that I was reading about spirituality and angels and also so you you're constantly doing all of this work but yes tea leaf reading is a little bit more accepted because oh isn't it cute or or often what I hear is oh my grandmother did it or my aunt does it or my mom did it there's or, familiarity there too it <laughs> is yeah and, and I will say, I say too like I'm terribly I've been my whole life been very interested in divination and I've loved it my whole life but it's almost like you kind of have your soul kind of remembers that this is a way to communicate with the divine and, you know and so I, I would encourage people I know that the controllers have really tried to paint divination as something that it's not and of course we know that the bad guys can use divination for right bad purposes but as she's saying as a, as an ethical reader who's doing it for the highest good there are boundaries like I know ethical readers won't read on people who don't give consent you know there are these mm -hmm. you know be boundaries that people put up and so Always boundaries i mean i have not to interrupt i've had clients before ask me in tv reading specifically oh is there anything in there about my family is anyone specific to my life and i'll say i use humor quite a bit sometimes i'll say i don't know 
And they'll say, what do you mean? I'm like, I literally don't know. I said, I literally don't know if there is anything in here regarding someone else, human figures. If you see my readings, you see little people formed. That's one thing, but I don't read for anyone if I don't have their permission. Now in psychic meeting readings, if something comes up from the divine, something comes through, I say to my client, if something does come through about someone else, I will say it, but only because it's coming through. Yeah. Most oftentimes it doesn't come through. I yeah, said, I, I don't have their permission. Yeah, you're also, permission. you're also a psychic medium too. And I understand what you're saying because it could be like a warning about a person, but it doesn't really mean that person's bad. It's just maybe not karmically time for, you know, but it's not in engaging in that person's privacy as far as, far as their private you know, so there's many reasons why psychically a, per a a warning could be put forth. It's not necessarily painting the person as bad, but it just might not, maybe it's not good for you or it's not good for them or we don't know. Yeah. Cause I, I love that you're a psychic medium as well. Um, I think that very oh, fascinating. <laughs> oh my God. If God, oh, hires, God. Google fire me. <laughs> Thanks Maji. I'm, yes. I'm just like, I'm like, okay, God, like what do you mean to say? Said my prayers before. I'm like, okay, just let me know. Give me the words. Yeah. Give me the words, please. Thank you. So that's yeah. very different. Like if somebody came and said, I have a crush on John Johnny Smith down the road, and I want to I want to read on him to see how he feels about me and what's going on. That is crossing a line. Same with your card. Like if someone came in, I want to know about like Tom whatever down the street that I really like. Can we read on him? No, that's Never. crossing a line because he's not here. Never. And about younger people younger people too i have read for one individual it was complete consent from her and one of this individual's parents expressly came to me and said this is she's a little younger she wants a, a reading i want her to have a reading i want a reading are you willing i said if you have full if you are giving as her parent full permission i'm more than happy to do it yeah more than happy do you want to be in the room during the session yeah and I have turned down a couple of times. I was approached one time specifically was approached to do uh, a Harry Potter themed uh, TV reading group thing for a younger, a, a group of younger individuals. And I said, no, and you may find it difficult to find someone else who's going to be doing divination for them who were ethical because they're younger individuals. You need express permission in my mind, this is just me talking, but you need permission. The last thing you need is any angry parents on the phone saying, yeah, why did you do that? And why yeah. did my six year old get a read it? Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Absolutely. I get it. So yeah, there are, so I would guess say if people are curious about that, they can always, if they have like a young child who is interested in this, they can always contact you to see, Absolutely. To talk about that and figure out what's the best path of action. 100%, but I would mm -hmm. always need permission in my mind anyway from that individual's yeah. parent or guardian before anything ever happens because they're underage. I'm going to respect that. But yeah, absolutely. Just yeah. let me know. <laughs> awesome. I'm so excited. This is so fascinating to me. Yeah, TV reading is it's different because like, like I said before, not too many people do it or they're not aware of it or they don't think of it or a few times I've actually had clients come in saying, you're doing it. I was expecting you'd be wearing tie dye or, Oh, uh, how old are you? Like, Oh, I was ex like this one lady, she was lovely. And she's like, at the end of it, she's like, Oh, well, I, I that was really nice. But I, I was expecting you to be like, you know, a little old lady. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, thank you. I don't take offense, but I'm like, but that's, that's the general conception that people preconception that people think that, that they have around tea leaf reading. But yeah, yeah. it's really interesting because like tea leaf reading for myself, it's, it's all literal symbolic or both images. Like we all have different meanings that we associate with different symbols and vice versa. So like, if I were to ask you, for example, what does the meaning of an archway represent to you? When you think of an archway, what does that, what words come to mind? So I often beginning. ask. I would say new beginning, walking into a new beginning. I exactly. see exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like that is like a general, that's pretty sorry. Um, that's a, <laughs> she's, she's confirming, she's confirming. <laughs> she's confirming. God is saying, yeah, that's generally what I say too, but I'll use various words. Oftentimes as you hear in my readings online too, that I use different words to describe the same thing because sometimes people wouldn't say a new beginning. That wouldn't make sense, but they'll hear a new opportunity. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense to me. So there's generally, I think generally there's different, there's um, a commonality between different symbols that we associate meanings with. 
but they're not, not all the same for everyone. So when I do TV feeding, I have Im images and associated meetings and vice versa that are very, that are just unique to myself and my own experiences. I love the Celtic. I love the tarot. So if I see swords or wands or pentacles, or if I see cups, I'm going to have, I'm going to associate those images with those meanings in that reading, in that grouping. And that's unique to my own experience. If you were to look at the cup, same leaves, you would likely see something different, completely fine and great. It's just, we're seeing different things. Or if you were reading for me, and you and material wealth was a thing you may see a pentacle but it may not be the same thing for myself i would see something different so it's very i don't want to say interpretation because to me that just sounds so 3d but it we all have different meanings that are associated with so different tv readers read differently i read the way that i i do it and yeah <laughs> well, it's going to show at each spirit spirit plays fair um on the side and they'll show they'll show people what the person needs to see for their own journey as well so it's absolutely, absolutely. totally and that's the same with any um any like yoga everybody's gonna have a different struggle in a different place because it's about your own experience within your own uh friction of life and the polarity of third density and so I, that makes total sense to me it's not black and white no really things in life are black and white mostly they're in shades of gray and so that makes absolute sense to me for sure for sure. Yeah, that's good. So does that sort of make sense to you? Because I know like TV feeding, it's very like, at first glance, you think, well, it's very simple. You look at leaves formed in the cup, you read them. But it's and from my own experiences too, from doing it now for going on 13 years since July. It's just different every single time you never see, you never see the same reading twice, you always see different things, you never know what you're going to see. And I'm learning all the time. That's the thing. Like, when I say dog, God taught, I really mean God taught how many times I've sat in front of a client and I'll see an image there. Like literally one time it was a garbage can, literally, <laughs> literally it was a garbage can. And I'm like, God, please tell me, what do I do? What do I say? Okay. Well, um, as, as organization, you're, you're completing something, something is being completed. It, it represents the idea of finalization of completing something, for example, Leaving like something out. Yeah. The trash out. Yeah. I would have been like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Once we saw a coffin and I'm like, okay, well, um, I don't do anything bad, but okay, what's around there? Well, there's some form of transformation that's taking place. It doesn't mean that there is someone is exiting earth plane. It just that means makes that sense. the death card in the tarot often does not mean literal death. Oh, it means like no. something is ending and something else. It's also the rebirth card too, right? So exactly. That's like, I don't know. Sense. I don't want people to get freaked out. Usually the saddest image I have ever seen and usually is a crying fat face. I see emojis a lot. Like I'll see like little faces or happy faces or crying faces. Like that's the saddest one I've ever seen. So not to get people freaked out because it's not, it, it's really not scary. It's just that people think, Oh, what's going to be in there. I'm like, or often they'll say, Oh, well, none of that makes sense to me. And I'll say, well, no, I'm, I'm sure it doesn't because it hasn't happened yet. I read chronologically. That's just how I learned. Yeah. That's how I've always done it for myself. The rim represents a present situation. The sides are on the way. I'm a very casual Leo here. So I use casual words. Present situation. The sides are on the way. The base is more of the distant future. So now on the way and later, that's just how I learned. That's how I do it. I know that's, that people see, use I didn't even know that. I, I mean, I was, I've been watching your videos and I was like, I'm just, I just see tea leaves. Like, I'm just like, so I mean that God definitely, I mean, and think about how amazing that is guys. Like, that's how cool God is. Like none of us were given the same talents and mm -hmm. how amazing is that, that it all, we all just work together cohesively with our different. And so the God gave Sarah a talent, like literally was like, boop, you do this, Literally, now, you know? So I heard, yeah, I had no idea. I was zero interest in TV reading and didn't really know it was a thing. And it literally happened within a few minutes. I'm like, okay. All right. And God has a sense of humor too. So he's like, tee hee hee. What, what's that joke? If you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited. Thank you so much for having me on. And, and I'd like to thank all of your viewers. I, I didn't realize that you posted your post in your community tab. I was offline pretty much that day. I looked back and the subscriber count in my channel was like going up. I'm like, oh, what's happening? And then I'm like, oh, did Bryce do something? And then I saw your post. I was like, oh my gosh. So thank you to everyone who has been watching my videos, liking, commenting, subscribing. I am just so surprised. Like, thank you so much for everyone's support. And when I say like my little comments of thank you, I appreciate it. I really mean it.
Yeah. It's it, we know that's, I think I always say, and I think all of us like myself, Shanti, all, we all share the same subscribers, which I hate calling people that because I know, I know, know like, it's yeah, for, but we have the coolest group because if you go to other corners of the internet where they like the drama channels, they, they compete with each other. Right. But like yeah. over here on our side, we're like, listen, we're in a war. <laughs> <laughs> it's warfare. We got you it together. <laughs> you don't remember that you were fighting in demons last night. It's all, it's all good. It's totally we, fine. We gotta stand side by side. We gotta support each other. So, um, so yeah, it's definitely that's that's just absolutely. And all the viewers that are friends watching right now are very much part of that. And so, I it's my pleasure. Like that's my, you know, I don't think any of us who open up platforms ever wanted to be like famous. That way, it was just we felt a need to create community because shit's really getting crazy and like. You know, especially in 2020, it was like, what the fuck is going on? And so when you're sitting there, like, staring at a world and you're seeing one thing, but the person beside of you is seeing something totally different and you're like, but not nothing's making sense. We all got on YouTube to find that community. And so that's what's happening, you know, and that's what's so beautiful. And now we're like, and like, I was, we were laughing offline, guys, because we were like, you know, half of the people in the world right now still think the beer bug is a real thing. And over yeah. here, we're like, so what does our planet look like? We find it far past that. We're like, you guys realize Tartaria exists? Like, we're like, gone so far past what your neighbor is actually doing. Like, they still are walking around covered like this. And we're like, so there was a time people mm -hmm. that incubator babies, and then they, you know, like, so it's it's you know, so yeah, so our viewers. Yeah. yeah amazing and so and so mm -hmm. i'm so glad you came on sarah I'm, I'm, i know you're gonna be coming back back even more so where yeah. do we go from here should we start the tea reading or i'm i'm ready to start if you are let's go let's go okay. you guys, all my scandalous secrets are gonna know you're gonna call your tea leaves i do say jokingly but it's 100 percent true tea leaves can be x-rated sometimes oh girl have you seen obviously you've seen my channel so I've it seen your channel. I've been watching you for like three years. These me make sex jokes. Sex is funny. Like that X-rated stuff can be funny sometimes. Let's be honest. It oh, can be weird. when yeah. I found out Messiah Menephalical pill pillar, I think I laughed for like a week because I was like thinking about all the fundamentalists who attack me all the time. I'm like, you're literally going to your cult and singing songs about a penis. Like, <laughs> and here I am looking at the tea leaves going, oh my gosh, there's been a few times I'm like looking in there. I'm like, um, God, you really want me to see this? So how's your sex life? No. <laughs> I'm like, you really want me to tell them? Okay, all right, fine. So there may be some romantic opportunity coming up in a little <laughs> while. Just be very open to it. There You're may be someone, happy. a romantic partnership appearing. And then, yeah. You and can. they're like, wait a second, is there something else going on? I'm like, let me show you the leaves. And yeah. It's a true You're story. Like, There's the true penis. Story. <laughs> You're gonna have a real good time. <laughs> You're heading what do you for, the, Ace of Cups? for a different reason. <laughs> yeah, Ace, Ace of Cups, Cups right? Ace of Cups. <laughs> oh god, you have to love it. Be better because that's coming at you. <laughs> the one-eyed monster is coming at you with some baby batter. So, <laughs> yeah, you can. You don't have to worry about about. <laughs> saying polite things around me. I'm very, I'm very comfortable. My teachers in India always say the highest level of spirituality is a sense of humor. And so I've taken that very, very much to heart that, you know what is scary and you awful as this all can be. It is kind of fucking funny too. Like it is. A you, have, yeah, you have to laugh. You have to. Like, I mean, that's why I was laughing about the dark side. having to take out fucking contracts. Like, are you kidding me? Like that's so extra, you know? <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know about that for my own experience, but all the scratches I've had in my upper back, like that were like literally stopped to two years ago but i had them literally for years as red as bryce's shirt and i'm like okay guys like do you have seriously nothing else better to do than try and exactly. you know like are you bored yet because i'm not gonna turn no bored. not happen like, seriously you just laugh at them <laughs> you have to you're like do you have nothing better to do than like oh yeah yeah you have to just laugh well that's the one thing demons don't know how to do they don't know how to laugh so because no. laugh, laughing comes from a place of love, right? It's a high vibrational activity. So exactly. You, you make fun of yourself. It's all good. It's all fine. You can't, it's okay. And you got to laugh at yourself too. You can't take yourself so seriously. No. You know, no. <laughs> that's how we win this thing, guys. It's how we win this thing. So exactly. Well, if, if my teacup says ace of cups coming your way, I will be very excited. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's look and see what's coming up in your tea leaves. And let's just see. So everyone has a different way to do it. Again, mine is chronological. 
And I don't really have any set form of timing. The only time that I can ever sort of get an idea of timing of a time frame is if one of two things appear, if you have like a constellation or an astrological sign. Okay. And then and if that's around like a human, a per, like a human, I don't, I don't like to say the word person, but if a human form, then yeah. you can see it likely that there's someone who is that sign involved or, and, or T3 is really an and, or, and, or, it's representing that time frame, or if you have planned a trip and it's showing up for myself anyway, just for myself as a horizontal line, then, and you already have that trip planned and, and you know when that is taking place, we can say likely at this point in time, this is what I'm seeing between here and here is between now to June. But since you have a plan, trip plan in June from this is June onwards, and they would say, oh, okay. Okay. So that makes a lot of sense. Okay. So yes. Climbing. And again, these are all things that I've just learned over the years from doing it. But yeah, it's all literal symbolic or both. That's, Perfect. that's the very, very, very simplistic version of tea leaf reading that I could describe. And it's really cool. It's really interesting. And you see a lot of you see everything like I'm always learning new things. I'm seeing new things all the time. And groupings like I will see in individual tea leaves. They can have shapes, they mean things. Oftentimes you will, most often you'll see groupings of tea leaves grouped in a certain way and that will have different meanings. You, for what I do, I look to see what image, what images are formed there in, in a certain grouping, for example, I look at their size relative to each other, how clearly, clearly they're formed, what images are around it, where it's placed. And that all describes that event or situation taking place. Okay. Um, yeah. So cool. Let's awesome. look and see. Let's, Let's look and see. see. Let's see. Okay. So, all right. So how I do it is I already have, so you are enjoying maple rooibos tea today. And it's funny because I'm actually a coffee drinker and I say that in all seriousness. I do not drink tea. I do not like it very much, which is really funny. Um, but you're having maple rooibos tea. It doesn't smell lovely. It had to be maple, right? Canadian. Yep. Yep. I love that. That's why, that's how God has a sense of humor. She's like, I know. Oh, I like tea. <laughs> so I have, if you were using if we were sitting in front of each other and you had, if we were using like actual like loose leaf tea, I would put the tea in your cup. I fill it with hot water. I would let you sip it. We'd have a little chit chat about tea leaf reading, whatever. And then you give it back to me and then I would get the cup ready. Now in this case, doing it remotely, I have your maple tea in here, your rooibos tea. Um, I use, sometimes I say jokingly, but true, rooibos tea, I'm kind of self-sabotaging self myself because the formation of rooibos is like little sticks. So it makes me work harder because there's more detail involved. <laughs> but I mean, I have it on hand. That's what I use. I use whatever I have. So this is what I have. We're using rooibos. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, let, let's, let's look and see. So I have your tea ready. I've put some hot water in. So at this point in time, people can see here. At this point in time, I'm going to ask you, don't tell me what, it, what you're thinking about, please. I don't want to know because it keeps me objective. I don't, Okay. need to know don't want to know don't like to know if i don't know then i don't know and i'm not trying to inadvertently connect thoughts in my mind to what you've said to what's in here please think of an area of your life that you like to gain some insight into don't tell me what it is and please tell me when you start thinking about it and when you finish thinking about it and when you're thinking of it i know it sounds complicated but it's really not i'm going to swirl the cup and when you're finished thinking about it i'm going to stop and then i'll get on to the next step okay all right sounds complicated but it's not no, I, it makes sense to me because energy is coming from the head. Okay, so here we go. Okay. I'm starting. Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. So now that I've swirled the tea leaves, I have my little bowl. So I'm going to strain excess liquid out of the cup. People can see it. This is why on my channel, I don't show myself either preparing the cup or me reading because honestly all you see is me doing <laughs> me doing this the whole time like it's pretty boring i figure if i show the leaves at least they have something to look at <laughs> okay so i have here so i'm straining it out you sort of need to have like a good balance between the liquid in the cup versus the leaves in the cup so if you have too much of one or one or one or one of the other they all fall in they all stay out so so I'm going to just make sure I have the great consistency. I need a little bit less liquid. So it, looks, it may look bizarre. I Sometimes I use clean. I've just realized I was doing it. Sometimes I'll use Kleenex and I'll just put it in and that absorbs a bit more water. That makes just sense. Get more of a controlled thing. Again, this is just things that God's taught me over the years, quite literally, just from experience. Okay.
Okay, that's good. You sort of want to have like a good balance between the like, like, like I said, the liquid and the tea. So right now, if you look in here, I'm sort of like moving around, but you see it's sort of clumping still in the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that's good. That means that we have enough that it, we're going to have leaves staying inside the cup. Let me move that over here. I'm just going to push it, the leaves down a little bit. Bree is saying hi, like she's been up my up side. She keeps it like, coming over and she's like, oh, I love the like tail. I love the tail. The tail is always <laughs> the best on dogs because they can't hide. Even when they try to pretend to be mad if the tail's wagging, they can't hide it. <laughs> They're happy. Bri, I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to concentrate, but you just keep like wanting me to pet you. Okay. I know, darling. I know. Did you want to say hi? Can I come up and say hi? No? Okay. <laughs> okay. So now what I do is I upturn it. Everyone will do this differently. This is just how I do it. So I will take a like a regular side plate and I'll put it on here. It's trickier if you're using a fine china, a bit more scary, but because it's like fine china. I yeah. do this and then flip it over. One, two, three. Didn't spill it. Yay. And then we just have that turned over. Some people will tip it over, like tip it out, like the liquid out. Yeah. I don't do that. I just do a flip. And some people I know use printed cups. I don't use pre-printed cups. I never have and nothing against them. But to me, I like doing it just with whatever the universe wants me to know. Yeah. Rather than, I, I have nothing against that. I've never experienced how to tea leaf reading with that, but I don't use anything pre-printed. It's just tea leaves, water, God, cup. That's it. So yeah, what I do is I turn it, I turn it around three or four times, just depending on whatever I do. Feel like doing it at the moment and then i just let it drip dry just for a few seconds so i'm just gonna like absorb a little bit of the liquid that's coming out and may you please like roughly tell me how long you want this reading to be um just so i had, can let's gauge do timing. Like 15 minutes is that okay Perfect. for the audience Perfect. yeah yes and i noticed on your website while you're doing that i'll tell the um the audience listening if you go on her website she has different uh times for mm -hmm. readings and stuff so you can kind of pick and gauge you know yeah and if I, and if i ever need to yeah i, I do as, as much as i can and, and usually I, I motor talk my way through to give as much information as possible but it's totally up to the client whatever they would prefer and um i typically don't go less than 15 minutes and i've explained that to other people in the past it's because i want to give you as much information as possible to give you a sound reading or tv reading in less than 15 minutes is a little bit difficult on my channel you can see most of the readings i do are like around 20 minutes and that's and that's cut down usually you, it's like a 50 minute clip for me that's fine if you whatever oh, you need to do oh, that's fine so that oh, the okay. audience gets a better view of what what actually happens in these types of readings so you do you girl, whatever you need to do. Thank you. Glasses are coming off now. <laughs> Short sided hair. Oh, braces blurry. Okay. So I have your, Oh wow. Okay. Sorry. So I have your, I can't see myself. Okay. So this is your, these are your tea leaves. I'm happy to send you a picture of this after. Yes. Okay. I don't see, I just see tea leaves. That's what I'm seeing, so. Oh, like this is what people often say, like, I'll ask the client afterwards, I'm just going to dub a bit more liquid out. And I'll ask a golfer, like, would you like to take a picture of your tea leaves? And sometimes they'll say yes. And sometimes they'll say, I've seen nothing. I'm like, that's fine. But once you try it, though, you have to like, very be very patient. That's the thing, like, especially when you first start, because you let your eyes sort of go out of focus. It's almost like you go in focus, and you go out of focus, you zoom in yeah. to the details, oh. and you zoom out constantly. I get that I have um, a stig astigmatism is what the medical world would say. I have glasses somewhere. I, I stopped wearing them though, because I realized what they called astigmatism was actually my ability to see spirits. Cool. Yeah. Makes so sense. I get that. I can, I can make my eyes zoom in and out as well. So I totally get that. I'm sure a lot of people watching right now that that probably resonates with them because awesome. yeah, science will tell you that's a visual issue. It's not. I don't think it is. I think it's like yeah. you literally just are seeing things differently. I mean, if they're so saying something is something, it's likely the opposite. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's look at your tea leaves. All right. So I usually like to start at the rim. This is just something that I have started doing over the years. So the rim is the present situation. So this is like right now. This is like happening right the second. So what I do is let me just look here. One. I go quiet sometimes. One. That's okay. Oh wow. Okay. Hang on. Sorry. That's that's big. So three. 
Four. Okay, so it's four. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm going to say that there was about four to five, five events or situations which are happening right now. Two in regards to your situation, or I'll say, and or, and or otherwise, because it's whatever universe wants us to know that are highly significant two of them are highly significant the other ones are sort of more minor and i would say certainly in the two larger ones it's either a feeling of like you wanting to get things moving faster and or you're happy that things are calm and clear and quiet and, and you're good with that so it's either this feeling of quietness or i don't like to use the word stuck or stagnation but you could use that word too things are kind of like ah, and you're like i want things to get moving or you're very happy with the thing the fact that things are quiet this is what I mean about me about me using multiple words to describe the same thing. Do you so know I have no idea. Is, uh, the, I, of course, because she has no idea what I actually asked about, but that is know. literally the situation I asked about. Like I've literally had the simultaneous feelings of like, I need this to speed up and oh no, I'm actually happy that it's kind of slowing down. Like, oh, I mean, interesting. Simultaneously had those same feelings. Interesting. But I want the situation to speed up, but I'm also terrified of it to, to of of what's going to happen too if it speeds up so i when you, i was like oh, when you said that because yeah it's and it's the most bizarre and i'm sure people watching can relate to that where there's something major happening in your life and you want clarity and answers and you want it sped up mm -hmm. to the end because you think you know how it's going to work out but you also don't at the same time 100 percent, 100 percent. wow okay that's really cool thank you yay humans are so complicated we're so complicated <laughs> it's so dramatic it's like us humans I know it's like, oh yeah, it's fine. No, 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 really, no. I, I, I totally get it. So thank you for that confirmation. I love it. Okay. Wow, there's a lot in here. All right. So, but continuing with the current situation, uh, you have one, two. All right. So two of those scenarios are actually so two of the so the two large scenarios plus one, two, two smaller actually two yeah two smaller events or situations are also occurring, and they are related to this one main event or situation this is a layout that you often see on my channel this is a layout that i often see when i read for clients it's like this one main event or situation that's taking place that's going forward they are all related to what you were just talking about it's related to what is on the way so it's directly related it's just happening right now and this is gonna that leads to all of this and since you did say it's feeling of stagnation you're, you're like ah oh, what's going on i would say that based on how near the tea leaves are to the rim this is me sort of going into teaching mode but i would say that it's going to be happening very soon so whatever this is related to they are connected to this event or situation and it's going to be happening like pretty much imminently it, there's something that it's, it's leading to something and it's it's sizable enough it's taking up <clears throat> easily a third of the cup I mean, you can see that hair so when i see uh, something to that effect i mean if you look you can see it's pretty much a third of the cup yeah so it's going to be it's going to be very sizable whatever this is referring to um oh there's a heart okay that's good that's neat so I, I, i'm moving ahead but anyway um whatever this event or situation is referring to you're going to be having there's a few things I, first this is me going out and then going into detail so that was an overview um you're going to be having clarity regarding all of this so as the event or situation is unfolding it's like you're going to be seeing things for how they are there's going to be some surprises along the way that this is referring to things that we're not supposed to know right now but um you're going to also know what is happening you're going to see things happen in front of you you're kind of maybe almost always also know where you stand regarding those individual scenarios of just part of the overall situation um you're also going to be able to sort of pace yourself it's going to be very hectic and, bu and busy but you are also going to be able to pace yourself too because you do have a fair amount of clear space in here which you can see to me that means like you're able to like again pace yourself right now One, there's something happening taking place right now leading to the whole event. It involves forward movement, also getting things organized in whatever way, shape, or form that may be, 
whether that's like a physical thing, material papers, tidying things, whatever the case is, but getting things organized, clarity, getting things tidied up, organized. Writing is involved in some way, shape or form, likely something to do with the letter, depends how you look at this, either the letter, potentially the letter S, but also potentially the letter M as well. Yeah. So, and maybe the letter N, it depends how you look at it. M, N, and or S. And it's something to do with a document of some kind, whatever, again, I have no idea what this is refer referring to. So this is me doing a TV creating. I have no idea what it, this is about, but I'm just describing Please what I'm Stop doing. recording, I'm gonna tell you. I'm not gonna say it on air, but, cause this is. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea and I don't wanna know right now because. Yeah, I didn't wanna compromise it, but yeah, I, I, yeah. Cool, thank you. And it's also, there's another situation present as well. It's another document of some sort. It's um, much smaller in significance, but it is also present. So those um, four things are, are present right now and they're helping to lead to this whole event or situation. Specifically, specifically what I just said, um, this is creating a form of, okay, so you're receiving something very good. Um, there is a Cancerian connection, <clears throat> excuse me, involved, <clears throat> sorry. Is there someone here? Do you happen to have a departed loved one who had an issue with the throat? Um, maybe, maybe they were a smoker. Is this a, do you happen to have, sorry, sometimes this happens. Um, do you happen to have a departed loved one? This is likely a male who had a throat condition, maybe a smoker. <clears throat> I, my voice is going on me when this happens. It's my it's my dad's dad's been coming through in a lot of. Oh, um, okay. He had, he smoked a lot, but he had a hit a near death experience because of his heart, but I think his cancer came in his lungs. Okay. I'm having a, away. you heard my voice change. It's yeah. getting, it's, I'm just like, yeah, he's been coming right, he's been dealing with this situation that I'm at. He, in other readings, he's come through <clears throat> dealing with this. He's come through the, so, and male. Yeah. That, that would be my grandfather, Ed. Okay. Okay, so please know that he is coming forward. He's saying hello, and my voice is clear now. So that means that we have to acknowledge that who it is, and that this is who is coming forward to say hello. And he's giving you a present of some kind. He's like, you're going to be receiving a gift of some sort near to the end of the month. Um, also talking about something to do. I know you're Aquarius, but something to do with the end of February. I can see a date. Don't know if you want to edit this out, but there's an 18 or a 20, more like an 18. 18 or 28 near to the end of the month of February, you're getting a gift. He's give, showing a, a gift of some kind, like you're receiving something good. And also the number 23. And to me, there are more dates than anything else, 18 and 23. Well, and and he, also the number 11. So does that make, oh, oh fuck. I see 11, like it is comical okay. how often I see 11. And he was, can he was a Cancerian. He was, okay. yeah, <laughs> cool. he, was, he was a Cancer. Amazing. Amazing. That makes me like emotional. Yeah. He, uh, yeah. my granddaddy, Ed, like, I, I feel like he really oh. has tried to protect me a lot. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, he's obviously like, I feel like he's gotten his message across. So he's backed up now, but he just wanted to say hi. Sometimes they'll come and say hello. And he obviously wanted to say hello. He's like, you're going to be perfectly fine. It's making you stronger and wait till what happened. Wait till you see what happens in September. Wink, wink. September, October. <laughs> There's something like a massively, massively good for you happening. Okay, don't know if you want to edit this part out, but it's almost like, I, don't tell me if you don't want to, but a center, you're creating a center. I know you do yoga, but like having a center, a healing center, some kind of center, a place where people can come to for healing, something. It connects to a past life too. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I don't need to know yeah. any detail, but that's what he's that's what he's saying. It's it's related and it's something to do with September, October. He's like wink wink. Twenty-eight keeps coming up, something to do with that. And it's like, what is happening? Whatever this is referring to, whatever you're going through right now, it's helping to bolster you um for what is to come, but what's to come as we know is really good, but it's really good. Yeah. It's like you are being rewarded. I mean, we know a little bit, but he, you're being rewarded. You have been, but you are being rewarded for everything. All the shit that you've been through is what I'm going to say. And it's coming. The dates are changing. It could be August, but it's somewhere around August, September, October. He's like saying like, wait till you find out. He's like winking at you. He's like, wait till you find out. 
he had a wicked sense of humor. Like the Watsons, the Watson side of my family are fucking hysterical. Like they're hysterical. But you know, he's winking at you. He's like, <laughs> he he wanted me. He wanted to to get me to. He wanted to buy me studios. He wanted to give me places to. Oh, he okay. wanted, and I never took that from him. They were very. My dad's parents were very wealthy. I never, I never took that from them. Um, you know, when he passed yeah. away, my grandmother was left, and I didn't. You know, that's that's her estate. So she's gone now. But. Sorry. I love my granddaddy. Like he, yeah, oh, he's amazing. He's amazing. He's hanging out here, but he's like, no, sorry, he's over there now. But he's he's around. But he's like, no, you just he just wanted you to. Know. He's like, you needed to know. Oh, that's sexy. He's like, knock knock. I mean, he's he's like saying knock knock. I've been. He's like, she needed to hear it again because she hasn't been listening or been telling her she doesn't believe me or she's ignoring me or something. He's like, knock knock. I'm here. Hi, here. I'm telling you again. So the situation. Me that has been kind of dragged out. So okay. you do lose faith after a while you do. you do. And then something okay. will happen. You're like, yes. And you're like, boom, bam, I'm comfortable now. I'm comfortable in the not knowing because that's, that's what I'm comfortable with, but you want it to move forward. So I told mom three days before I emailed you for your shadow work challenge. I was talking to God two or three days. I'm like, okay, if I need a sign, if this is what you want, what you want me to do, send me a sign, a good sign. And then I emailed you and then you emailed me back. And then everything is like gone from there. And I'm like, Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> True, it's true. Okay, so yeah, so he wanted you to he wanted wanted to say hi. I know it's so weird because like I shift gears so quiet, like quickly. I'm like, okay, no, that's I'm, fine. I, I it's, it's, it's 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 amazing. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, great. So he wanted to say hi. Um. So yes, there is a concerning connection here. This other everything I just mentioned about them, the letters and the document and getting things organized. It's related to a form of stability. It's creating a sense of stability for you in some way, shape, or form. Yes, and you are, again, you are receiving good things with this. Um, there's just so much in here. Like, we could li literally go for an hour very easily. But I can say offhand, I'll do a quick glance, but there's the concept of getting things, oh, wow, interesting. Okay, organized, tidied up, sorted out. I'm seeing a lot of vacuums is what I'm seeing. So getting things sorted out, organized, cleaned up, organized, whatever way, shape, or form that may be. I'll say that once for just for sake of not repeating myself. Um, also, definitely getting thing, things moving forward. You have uh, a couple. I know Roy Bose is formed as little sticks. However, they are very, there are variables in how they do appear. Um, so you do have some ones in here getting things moving, action, momentum. Um, some documents and some signing of things. I'll just say that for lack of to prevent myself from saying it like multiple, multiple times. But you have a lot of scrolls in here with pens or, or like with pens or pencils so that to me means like either it's a, this is either representing education and or getting things signed documents are being signed does whatever shape, shape or form however there's multiple of them there's happy faces you are happy with the scenario certainly near the beginning um there is okay okay i don't know how what your grandfather looked like so again i'm not trying to like connect the dots, but um, there is a, a, there is someone, a helpful individual involved near the beginning and you're happy about the whole scenario, whatever this is referring to in this situation, specific to this grouping. And there's a helpful individual involved. It looked to be like quite like um, maybe dark hair, potentially swarthy skin, but definitely dark hair, a uh, prominent nose and they're, they're helping. They're helping in the scenario. Okay, cool. <laughs> Well, there's a map of the states in here, so that's really cool. So definitely a connection to the U.S., um, certainly I would say in your area because I'm not seeing California. If I don't see California in a map, of too much detail. But anyway, is highlighting your, your, your vicinity. So whatever this is regarding maybe some connection regarding to where you are. Um, But there's a lot, there, there's some things in here about getting helpful people are involved, a partnership of some sort. Person, place, or thing likely involved in this situation with a letter E involved. Now, this could be your name, Bryce, potentially there's an E in your name. It could be that, it could be something else. Um, again, lots of documents. This is just up near the top. Protection, there's protection regarding this, which is nice. I think we're all divinely protected anyway. But there is protection regarding that scenario specifically. And there is a sense of 
new beginnings, but also abundance, abundance that is beginning to take form and also happiness, um, maybe even taking a leap of faith and starting on a new journey. Like you're starting something new, starting something new. It's a leap of faith. You're happy. You're starting with something new, it's something to do with a, a document, uh, paperwork, um, something along those lines. There's a, again, the letter M potentially involved and or the letter C, M and or C. And or H and I, depends how you look at it. I, H, C, and E. Um, positive messages, news, and information on the way. Good news is a trumpet. So there's good news on the way. This is all at the very start of this whole scenario. You have another grouping over here. Again, the letter E. Taking time out for your own self-care. Potentially the letter, no, not, not the letter, sorry. Potentially the, the astrological sign of Aries. So there could be someone who is either like Taurus or Aries that's involved. But definitely you taking time out for yourself. Absolutely. And there's good news regarding that. There's a little bit of money potentially maybe involved, but it's really you taking more time out for yourself regarding that situation but it is harmoniousness there's a heart there so it is a good loving scenario again the letter i if there is any feeling of discontent near the start nearing near to the start of this whole scenario i really wouldn't maybe like focus on it too much or acknowledge it obviously but move on if that makes sense um there may be a slight feeling of like oh no but it's not going to last really for long at all that makes sense too there's just so much in here oh my gosh i would just say that like, based on how much is in here i would say like just pace yourself and just remind like I, it, as a client i would say to you just as a reminder just to pace yourself because there's just so much information keep yourself grounded calm aware and just be very gentle with yourself and just like pace yourself because there's a lot happening. And it's almost like a scenario where you go, ah, because there's just a lot happening. Um, lots of messages, news and information, partnership ready to take place, partnership that is forming. And there's news are coming regarding that angelic help, which is really nice to see. Oh, angelic help. Angelic help regarding a situation where there may be some travel, potentially foreign involved, and also the qualities of you going for it. Does that make sense? Like you going for whatever it is that you want to have. Oh, the situation, I'm, I'm only still sitting on this earth right now talk, asking this question because of angelic help. So, Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. this is wild. Cool. If I sound like, if I ever sound like I'm not enthusiastic or not paying attention, that's because like, I'm literally just trying to like, no, you're fine, girl. I get, I get it, objective in my mind as I'm looking at these leaves. Cause there's a lot of detail that's always involved. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what else. There's so much. Ah, okay. Okay. So there's that, there's that. But, uh, so there's, just, there's, there's, okay. I'll say it one more time. Documents, lots of documents, lots of like paperwork. But it's you going for what you want to have. You're going for it. You're not being afraid. You're totally going for it. There's angelic help regarding that. And likely there's some form of education, some form of knowledge. I'll just word it like that. There's some form of knowledge. Um, lots of protection. Happy faces. I'll say that one more time because I keep saying it. Um, it's just in this one section. But like all through it, like you have two hearts in here right away and they're very sizable. So I would say that whatever this whole event is referring to, it is loving and harmoniousness. You have those qualities present, which is just really nice to know. There's some kind of a partnership that this is referring to specifically and involves like someone who is a very helpful individual. Um, again, the paperwork thing, some money involved. And yeah, it's a partnership that's beginning to form. Yeah, I'll say that only one more time because I keep seeing references to partnerships. Yeah. Well, that makes sense with the question I asked, so. <laughs> Good. Again, if there may be some moments where you're feeling a little bit discontented with things, but just know that they're very temporary. Um, you have a little bunny in here too. So it's like creative project for me, creative projects, new beginnings. Now, whether that's referring to the time of Easter and the calendar that we currently use, um, that may be a... And that oh, means, I said that like earlier. I know. <laughs> I'll put that in. I know. 
you know, the calendar we currently use. I'm like, you know, the matrix that we're currently, I just love that. September yeah. is the seventh month. So <laughs> I would like snap that to that snack shot and use that as that. Cause I just thought it was hysterical when you said that. <laughs> Everybody watching out there knows exactly what. <laughs> October is the eighth month. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm so strange. Um, but okay, so it could be used, it could be referencing Easter at that time. So everything that I have set up until now may be taking place between now and Easter. It may not be. I'm just saying that in case it makes sense to you. But there's definitely this feeling of like creativity, making new things, creative projects. And there's a finalization that's regarding that. And somehow there potentially be a, maybe a number three that's involved. And I say a lot of words like potentially or maybe because it, I'm saying that in case it may make sense to you later on at that time. Cause it, cause like tea leaf reading, like one image can look like 10 different images. So. And time is fluid. Time is fluid. Yeah. And, and guys like the darkness is constantly trying to mess up the timelines. And so it's a war right now. And, and it kind of has to do with what I asked her. So I get that. Like, it's not right. the time and time is different in the quantum than it is here on earth. Absolutely. I mean, Mandela effects and time glitches and stuff. They're real. Yeah. So yeah. Um, okay, so moving down further in this area, again, um, if you're feeling discontented, it's not going to last long. I would say just keep your your focus on where you want to keep your focus on and just keep going, really. Um, it looks, it, it's looking good. Um, there's a personal place or thing with a letter J that is potentially involved. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I think your grandfather's still around. Um or I'm just like generally like, yeah, congested. Okay, so go further. Yeah, again, the Cancerian connection, person, place, or thing, but who is that sign? And there's news. So there's at some point in time, right around here, there's some positive news that is coming into you um, regarding a Cancerian connection. So it's someone who is that sign or it's those qualities of Cancerian that are present. So healing, nurturing, loving, protection. Really, yeah good news at this point in time right here you're getting two pieces of news likely non not to do with the home and our family but they're arriving okay so i'm going to qu quickly go up and go back down okay so go over here person place a thing again with the letter m there may be literally be maybe a number 14 one four that's involved in some way shape or form you I don't know if you're considering moving, but you may be considering moving in the next short while or something to do with property. You may be thinking of moving. Another way to read this is that, again, you're taking time out for your own self-care. Yeah, and more research learning. Um, again, protection, positive messages, news and information, reassurance, potentially some money coming. Again, the number four keeps coming up. Um, letter Y. So there's messages, news, and information coming about the letter Y. This may have a Scorpio connection, or this may be occurring. Yeah, I wouldn't say that this is a time frame. Um, likely a Scorpio like connection. So, like a new beginning, regeneration of some sort, or someone who is that sign that's involved. <clears throat> Excuse me. Definitely um, new beginnings are present. Definitely new beginnings, new opportunities helpful people that are involved. Again, notice I'm not reading for anyone else. I'm just saying that helpful people are present. Um, also someone who may be uh, potentially maybe, um, sorry, hang on one second. Again, yeah, so again, Scorpio. Helpful people. I'll say that more, could, one more time. Can I ask, a, could, this, could one of these people be no longer in body? Potentially, potentially. It's totally a possibility. Because I, when you say keep saying letter M and Scorpio, my mom's mm -hmm. mom, I'm there was very close to, and she died when I was nine, but she's been around okay. me my whole life. It absolutely could be saying that this is, this could be, re this is again, tea leaf reading. It, this could totally be referring to the fact that she is helping you Spirit as the scenario involves. involves. Like granddad on the other side. Of the, yeah. A hundred percent. hundred percent. Going over slightly further over to the left. There's going to be one area of this whole event. There, there's just a little bit more hmm, things that need to be sorted out. A lot of conversations, a lot of discussions, a lot of thinking. 
this one portion of this whole event. That's going to be taking place in a little while, not too, too long. If I had to guess a month or so, but there's a bit of time between before that happens, but that's also just going to be taking place. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. totally. A lot of cover, a lot of thinking, a lot of talking. Same. It's conclusions, new beginnings, a beautiful new beginning. An opportunity that arises from that. Uh, again, I know you're doing a shadow work challenge, but there's taking time out for your own self care, nurturing, healing, reading, learning. I keep seeing references to that, so I won't say it again. But I'm seeing like this is like the third time I'm seeing references to that. And when I when I say that, I mean like some again like I showed you in my videos, like someone's in a yoga position, someone's like looking at a book, someone is like. No, that makes perfect. It's crazy because Sarah, I, I struggle with overworking. I mm -hmm. have a lot of, I call it the private school cult. And I think it's, it's, it's very tradition, very common for kids like me who grew up in like very intense educational backgrounds to be work mm -hmm. so hard as a kid academically that I feel at this point in my life, like I can't take time off. Like I work non stop everybody in my life gets that's not and my family gets it but like my friends will get so mad at me they're like can't you just take the day off and i'm like no but we mm -hmm. have to work i have to work and so i've been thinking i've been pro in my own shadow work i've been processing that a lot like why do okay. i have a hard time just like taking a day off why do i feel guilty when i take a day off and mm -hmm. it's going back to the wiring of being a private school kid and like the stress i was under at in a young age academically me too. I went to private school as well. I totally get what you're saying. It's interesting that you're saying that because I had the same thing. I still have the same thing. I'm like, I feel guilty if I'm not working, producing. Productive. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter what it is. The private school. Yeah. <laughs> it. Yeah. It's totally like, and I was, I've really been thinking about that a lot. So it's crazy. That's And I have not expressed that to anyone. Like this oh, okay. is something I've been thinking about in my head. I haven't really thought about it. It's not like it's a secret. I've just I've been really thinking about it. Like, I've been watching all these Scientology videos of these Sea Org people coming out saying like, I feel like I constantly have to be working because we always work in the Sea Org. And I was like, well, riddle me that Batman because I went to a private school and I'm the same way. Like, I know that about myself. Okay. I can't, every time I take a vacation, I end up working because I feel guilty. And feel it's guilty not, like, for not being productive. All the bills are paid. There's money in the account. It's not like there's, I just feel like I'm going to get in trouble if I'm not productive. Yes, I'm the same. Really? girl it's the private school <laughs> it's the private school it's what it is it, it's the like okay i'll give you so like i will i have this thing like my high school and i'm this is the guys fuck college college was a brief compared to private school education <laughs> and early we would have these things like if you were late the bell one bell would ring and then five minutes later the second bell would ring and if you weren't in class by the second bell mm -hmm. you would have like massive points deducted of your off over your overall oh, average mm -hmm. Wow. So my campus was huge. And so like you would have one class over here and you'd literally see kids like running with their backpacks just to get to the class on time. And so my wow. boyfriend, this was years ago. My boyfriend at the time was like so frustrated with me because I, I have the propensity to get places really early because I'm okay. so traumatized by that. Wow. And so it's so, it, this is wild guys. Cause I haven't really, I haven't said anything to anybody about this, but I know that it's an issue that I have. And like, so I've been like, I need to take time being aware yeah, that I have this propensity to like feel guilty if I'm not producing and it has wow. nothing to do with the content or what it's like that, that mm -hmm. just driven into me. And I think private school kids get that because it's very different. Um, different. When I, the guys I've dated who went to public school have a very different relationship with work and play than I do. And I've oh, noticed okay. that a lot of private school kids are just like the Sea Org members of Scientology. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Like, you know, We're so, done, yeah. so that's so you keep, you keep saying like, oh, this keeps coming up. And I'm like, no shit. Like this is literally universe being like, okay, we're nudging you. This is part of my shadow work is actually like getting rid of that pattern wow. that I have where I think I'm a bad person if I'm not constantly working. Interesting. Well, I keep seeing it. I've seen it like three times now. So that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So it's not wild. to drag up. No, I'll keep going here. Um, okay, mom. Person thing again, the letter Y is present. Letter F is present. This is regarding someone again, who's a helpful individual who's present. <laughs> um, also the letter W. This is regarding someone who has the letter W in their name. And also 
at the beginning of this whole Avanter situation as well, there's definitely a sense of um, protection also, and also using your analytical mind. I meant to say that before, sorry. And also using your analytical mind and something to do with like researching, learning, or document of some kind. Okay, go further. Yeah, again, just some surprises also in the way with all of this, like we're not supposed to know some things. Um, letter E, letter W, helpful individual again. I keep seeing a lot of helpful people. Towards the end of the scenario in the short term, fairly short term, there's a um, feeling happy, forward movement, not feeling inhibited, going for whatever it is that you want to have helping someone as well. There's a sense of, of helping someone. Again, property is coming up. Take that for what you will. Um, and again, helpful people. Letter, uh, sorry, number three. Sorry, number three. Creative projects again. A lot of helpful people. Um, you, I, you, I don't know. Um, if you have planned a trip, this is showing up. You may be going on like a short term trip. If you do, it's something that's sort of like more like a weekend away, or you're going into like the spa for the weekend or something, not like a huge spiritual pilgrimage, but there may be like a short term trip planned. More learning doc. I keep seeing documents. Okay. This whole event does lead into the base, so it does go on for quite some time. Again, there's a Cancerian connection, happiness regarding that specifically. Um, but again, not a, new, a fair number of surprises. You're going to be having some surprises, but there's also abundance with this too. This leads to abundance. Person, place, thing. Person, place, or thing again with the letter F that's involved. Um, partnerships. Yeah, it's, it's all good. You're happy. You're happy. Whatever this is referring to, it does look like, again, that there is forward movement and there's more creative projects. There's more beginnings and thinking of new ideas and getting things like sort of planned out that way. Like, there's a lot of thought. There's some thought regarding a new opportunity um, that does take, looks like it does take place. You have new opportunities being presented here. And it does look like it's, yeah, you have multiple opportunities. There's one that is a conclusion. So something is concluding, um, but it does look like it is fairly sizable. So whatever this event, event rather is referring to, it does look like, well, it almost takes up half of your cup more or less at the base. So it's, it is sizable. It's going to be, it's going to be continuing, continuing on for a little while, um, but it's going to be continuing, continuing rather to be, um, you know, a main area of your life, I guess you could word it like that too. Again, the letter W. And that is your very short TV reading. <laughs> That's wild. I'll have to tell you on camera what I asked you, but I'll tell the audience, a lot of it has in references. What I asked is also the re the question I asked psychically the t to tea leaves. It has a lot to do with why I've been so heavily attacked, and it all makes perfect sense to me. Okay, you amazing. So um, amazing, but thank you for confirming. Yeah, and that yeah. So I, Sarah, I'm going to be coming back to you for, for more readings because that was amazing. <laughs> uh, and what I was saying, so while you're doing that, Spirit was talking to me, and he, okay. Spirit suggested it's up to you because I knew we were going to do my reading and a general reading, but Spirit told me mm -hmm. we'll see how you resonate. That I, you should be coming back on my channel at the beginning of each month. I'm happy to do that. That'd be great. Yeah. That'd be awesome. So we can focus on just the general reading for the collective. That would be fun. I would love to do that. That'd be yeah. amazing. And actually, while you're I like grabbed my planner, which I usually don't pull my planner out until after the episode is done and we do this off air, but maybe next Wednesday, you and I can sit down on February one and do a February reading for the collective. That would be so amazing. I would love to do that. And that's also in bulk. That's like Bridges Festival. That I would love yes, to do that. Yes, uh, yeah, it is. Absolutely. That's one of the eight whole high, 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 high holidays, the real holidays. Yes. <laughs> I love that. I literally am going to go kidding? Snapchat you saying that because that was like perfect. <laughs> the way, you, you know, there the calendar we're on. Um, and then every first of the month, we'll just bring you back on and do a general reading 
Uh, I would love that. That'd be so amazing. And that would, uh, yes, I'm in. I would love to do that. Okay, cool. Amazing. Awesome. I got my, I, usually guys, I'm like, I grab my plan. Usually that, that ha that's what happens off screen. Usually as we plan the next show, but um, <laughs> that is amazing. I, that was crazy, Sarah. I can't wait to tell you more about the question I asked because the document thing makes total sense to me. I am thinking about moving for sure, but the, the location I am thinking about moving to is very much in this vicinity. Okay. Um, this coast. So, um, um, yes. And, uh, my granddad coming in has a lot to do with it. It's two of the initials that you mentioned. I'll tell you off, off camera. Cause that was wild. Um, wild i'm telling you wild you guys one of the descriptions that you actually gave of somebody that i specifically is involved in this i was like when you described the person i was like that's them amazing and it's all gonna be great so you know y'all you should totally do this you guys i'm like i'm still <laughs> like, and then my granddad my granddad's like six foot five and like he's like oh wow <laughs> he wanted to come through like it doesn't always happen but sometimes like it they do. And if spirit comes through to part of the ones like they come forward, it doesn't always happen. But if they do, they get precedence. They, they get priority because they're coming through. So that was, he has walked his through. way through. He died in 2017, I believe. Uh -huh. um, and I'm the oldest on that side of the family. I'm the oldest grandchild by a lot. My sister and I, um, my sister is four years younger than me, but then our cousins are like 10 years younger than us. And, wow. um, and so we had a lot of time just alone with my grandparents. And I think both of my dad's parents, uh, my granddad had a near death experience. So he was very spiritual in his own way. My grandmother was just like us. She was all into reincarnation and she would have dug, she, my grandmother, Marianne would have been like, dying to do stuff like this she passed away a couple of years ago but she's with ed now she's with my granddad now but but um you know so i think there was like a kindred spirit between them so the fact that he comes barreling through and just not with not just with you he's come through with tamara he's come through with all these other car readings i've done like he just comes through and i feel him around like really and that's the thing i want i want to express to you guys too that you know, our souls are not just the the time period of our bodies, you know, and sometimes we have soul agreements. Some people will leave the earth in their body because part of their soul agreement is to protect you from the other side. Absolutely. Just because it, it, it's something that I, I say to my clients sometimes too. It's, it's to me, there's a reason why stereotypical messages are stereotypical. Oh, your loved ones are coming through. Oh, oh so and so, th they love you. They're around you. They're but like that's because, in my experience, that's a lot of what they say a lot of the time is to their to the client that I'm waiting for or the whomever I'm waiting for. I love you. I'm proud of you. You're doing well. You're 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 okay. I'm around. You. It, it, it's a lot of the same messages because that's what they want you to know. It's all going to be okay. It's all gonna be okay. You're not alone. I'm with you. I love you. I'm proud of you. Yeah. And it, there and, and you talked about, I will say this on the show. So um I when I was last time I was down in Florida, which is I'm in the same zone as Florida. That's not very it's not easy for us to go back and forth. Um I was went to Clearwater to look at a lot of the Scientology buildings. Because my yeah. thought and I was there and I told Tamara this. I said, I don't know if I told her on camera, off camera, I was like looking at flag. And I was looking at the Fort Harrison, which is their Sea Oregon. Granted, it would take a lot to clean this, to like sage it and like clean up all the, the bad stuff. But I was sitting there thinking these would be incredible centers for real healing. Yes. I thinking that like, amazing. like, cause I don't think Scientology is going to be around much longer, but these buildings would be incredible. And I was thinking, oh my God, we could bring so many people in to the community mm -hmm. you yourself included could come down and like have their own wing to like help people. There's a hotel there where people could stay. Um, of course, when everything flips and like there could be different modalities of healing for people to Absolutely. come in and let's rotate through and, and really help people get s stabilized mm -hmm. spiritually into this new. And so when you're saying that about property, I, I was in documentations. I was like, I literally talked to Tamar about this. Like I was like, this is kind wow. of my, what I see. And when I was down there, I was like, it's a shame that the bad guys have this now, but this property can be used. It can be used for oh. good beautiful i mean i don't think i ever had seen footage or had seen what that clear water had looked like but i did see your video i'm like it looked beautiful there beautiful. The buildings i will say gorgeous. one thing about scientology is they kept they kept that thing really clean and 
you know, really, but you know, we would just come in, like it would have to be. And I was thinking about all that. Well, then there was another side to the situation, which I will tell you afterwards. And I was like, okay, so there's literally what she was saying. She about all these documents, both sides of the situation leading to the same hole are going to require a lot of paperwork. Okay. Interesting. The other side of which I won't say on camera what that is because, um, but there, it's going to take a lot. So that made sense to me when she said a lot of paperwork. So there's paperwork to end things, <laughs> paperwork to begin things, paperwork to, I mean, right. So, so it's, it's, it makes sense that that absolutely. And I said it connected to a past life. So the situation I was talking about in a past life, there had been healing centers involved as well. Beautiful. So it kind of, even though I'm talking more about this life, because I the only think about past lives is just information that you've worked on, you know, but I, I was mm -hmm. like, wow. So I do think, and so anyway, but I'll, you guys, you absolutely, that was fucking awesome girl. I'm going to be like coming to you. Like, and I'm going to be like, Zara. <laughs> well, I'm just me. I'm just me. I'm just doing my best to do my best. I'm just, just, I'm just me. I'm uh, it's, it's all comes from the boss. Yeah. Yeah. But you're the one with the talent to do it. So, cause I, and I love, I love watching divinators work. I love it because they get every divinator now gets so focused and they're, and they're working the, I mean it's amazing so you guys you guys Lots absolutely yes go <laughs> like and subscribe to Sarah's channel <laughs> you're gonna get her back and I'm gonna say too since Thank Sarah's you. new to my channel and we'll have her less than actually today so a week from today this is gonna be airing on Thursday morning but we're filming on Wednesday okay. um because you guys guys know I suck at doing live shows I get too distracted by the comments so I don't have to pre-record so um so, so if you have any questions for Sarah that you want me to ask her in the next show, um, yep. ask in the comment section below. Please. We'll cover that as well next show. And we'll get I'm a look at um, uh, on Wednesday on what's going to be happening in February. February and see what's coming up. I would love to. So yes, if anyone has any questions, please just let them, just let me know. I'm happy to cover that. I just, again, I don't read for anyone who we don't know. I don't read yeah. for anyone else. But if they have any questions, just let me know. We can take a peek and see what the leaves say. Oh, God, I saying say, Sarah, do you do gift cards or can you do? Because I just was told to say to the audience, if you have somebody, I don't know, someone watching right now, this might be a message for you. If there's someone in your life who has a birthday coming up or an anniversary or something, and you're like, I don't know what the hell to get this person, this could Absolutely. be Absolutely. I, I, I can create gift card, uh, gift certificates I have in the past. So if, they want to do that just let me know and i can dig up my template and i can i can get them a a word document pdf thing i can i can do that for sure because that's a, I, I was just told to say that so if, if, that, was mess, if that message was meant for whoever's watching right now <laughs> if there's someone in your life you're like i don't know what to give them or valentine's day no, like, i'm not the strange chili reader up in canada it's fine listen, <laughs> i'm telling you listen this would be an incredible gift. Like if somebody gave oh, me I, I would be like yes you know so so like Listen, all of us weirdos, we're over the the matrix stuff. We want to talk to spirit. We want to understand. And so, um, and Sarah is obviously very talented. Again, oh, please go subscribe to her channel, guys. Um, this is just another way of reassurance because this is a very hard timeline to be living in. I'm not gonna. I know we laugh about it, but I am gonna say yes. I think Sarah and I both can say. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, as as you say, sometimes you need to go take some time in the med tent, and sometimes like. This is exhausting. And I want to validate that for anybody watching right now. It's fucking exhausting. How many times have I like said to mom, like, oh, mom's like, she's not slept well, or I'm not slept well, or we're up to three o'clock in the morning, which is our usual bedtime because we can't sleep. Oh, what's the Schumann residence doing? Oh, it's on a blackout. Oh, it's whited out. Oh, it's not doing, it's not doing a whole lot. So it's very difficult. And all the energy influxes that are happening and you don't know why you're feeling that way. And then I reach out to one of my friends and she's the same way. I'm like, you lightheaded today. Are you dizzy? And she's like, yes. So there's just a lot of energy that's also coming in that we know of, we know the human resonance. There's just a lot. The world is changing. Earth is changing. So much is changing. And we're all going through collectively going through our own things individually, we're picking up on different people. There's just so much happening that we know of, but so much more that we don't know. It's just such an emotionally charged time. That's the thing. Yeah. And, I mean, I went in, and that tea reading when you said there's things they won't tell us, we're not going to know yet. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I think that makes sense on the whole too, because the future we're walking into Obviously, we've all ascended before, but we don't remember it. And so, you know, there are things that they can't tell us right now. 
um, no. because our minds can't perceive it right now. And so they mm -hmm. spirit knows that it's okay to like pull some things back because it's not time yet. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to validate that from any, anybody that's going through. I know my boyfriend was up all night with a migraine. He ended up throwing up early this morning. I have oh, some friends that were feeling really gross today. It is, you are, the veil is thinning. And so we are definitely, uh, we're, we're, we're a victim of our own nature sometimes. And that's, mm -hmm. that's okay. You know, it's, it's totally okay to have those days where, and so, you know, it's beautiful that we have people like Sarah that can tap into the divine so that we have that reassurance that nothing we're doing is in vain, that everything mm -hmm. is, is, is a step in the right direction, even when it feels heavy. So, um, and we all are like, I know you've said it before and I've said it myself too. I think pretty much everyone is psychic. Everyone is a medium. It truly is a matter of awareness. And if you choose to pursue it, like anyone can become a TV feeder. Like I, 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 I did, and I didn't plan on it and it just happened. So anyone can do this. Anyone can tap in, but it's sometimes it is nice to go to someone who you don't know. Cause it is objective. Exactly. That's, that's exactly. Um, and that's, I just, I was smirking because I'm like, that's, that's how God works. Right. Like, totally you, you had told me as a kid that I was going to be traveling, but traveling back and forth to India and do what I do. I'd be like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> You, you couldn't make it up. You really can't make a lot of this. You, you couldn't. There's no way that you could comprehend it. Um, you had you told me I was going to have a plan. Five years ago, if you told me I was going to have a YouTube channel, I'd been like, no, I'm not going to do no. a YouTube channel. And here I am. So, you know, God's like, tee hee hee. Yeah. <laughs> me too like I was just like I started my YouTube channel because I was like I wanted to do it but I always got the guidance don't do it yet it's not time just wait and then eventually like last year I'm like I gotta I have to do something okay God let's do it and in case anyone's wondering I always stroll the leaves because like you're just gonna see me look into a cup at least that yeah, way no, can at least do something great. I love the way you do your videos because you oh, wait you. she takes a picture and then she kind of you kind of do a voiceover of what's happening and it's genius guys you absolutely and I, and I will say too like i know for most of us on this side of light it's not about the numbers of of subscri subscriptions we have oh, but i will say the thing that the no. thing that's important guys is that the more subscribers you have the more youtube is going to push your videos out there and we that's want true. to be and especially for someone like sarah who's coming at this from a very gentle place with with spirit coming through the tea leaves People are going to start to people that aren't awake yet are going to start waking up and they're going to be looking and searching for answers. And so we want these videos to be out there for our brothers and sisters who are still asleep. When, and we remember when you started waking up and you're like, what the fuck? So that they can find these videos and that they have that comfort. And so that is what's important. So when you subscribe to someone's channel, it's giving that channel a boost so that other people in this journey, like I said in the very beginning, if you go on other corners of the internet where like the drama channels they're always fighting with each other and like trying to outdo each other that's not we're trying to walk together home and try to get everybody's you know and, and we're trying very hard for those of us who are still on youtube to stay on youtube because rumble is an echo chamber people asleep right now and i have a rumble channel for backup but people who are asleep right now don't know that rumble exists they exactly only, they only exactly. on youtube and so we have to keep people up on YouTube in order to then, you know, I link some videos to my Rumble if they're potent, I'll, I'll link over to Rumble, but then that's, oh, people then discover Rumble and then they can find the other content creators on our side who have been banned from YouTube, yeah, you know? So absolutely. it's very absolutely. important, guys, that, that we catch, that we are constantly extending the olive branch out into the universe for those that are just starting to wake up to have a safe place to fall. Absolutely. That's sort of how I found your channel to start off with. It was because at that time, myself and a couple of friends, my mom, like we're all looking for answers. Well, where do you go? You're not going to find it in certain places. You have to go find it in other places and don't listen to the MSM. So you go to YouTube and you look you up. Had a big fucking orb just go through you, Sarah. I don't Did know. I? Yeah, it just went like right there in front of you. Yeah. I'm, I don't have my glasses on. So I literally. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm looking at the screen, I'm having glory. I saw it. Hopefully people will be able to see on the playback because sometimes when you film, it looks different when you put it up on, when you put it on YouTube, but I just saw a big fucking orb just go right over your forehead. So that's for you, girl. That's, that's your people. That's your. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe it's my uh, fifth, fourth great, grand, great grandfather. Dr. Ooh. Joseph. I know Brie. I know. Um, yeah, he's cool. I love him. He's Scottish. We know that he's from Scotland. 
and he was he was he was a doctor and he's amazing and i adore him maybe that's him i don't know but i love dr joseph i love him he's cool my great grandfather's was a Dr. Joseph as well. Oh wow. And I share his birthday. Yeah. We we wrote February 4th. So yeah. So oh, Dr. Mike, my, my great grandfather, my grandfather's oh, father, Dr. Funny. Joseph Bryce. Yeah. Oh, so that's, that's wild. All right, oh, you guys. Funny. Well, I think Sarah, thank you so much. I'm so excited oh, you're gonna be coming back and doing you. this. This is brilliant. Oh, you guys so all subscribe, like, do all the things, check out her <laughs> YouTube, check out her website. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> She's amazing that, that I'm like, I can't wait. To, I'm dying to tell you more off camera because I can't. <laughs> okay. So, um, all right, you guys. So thank we'll you everyone. You. Bye. Thank you so much. <laughs>